Number one, Jesus did. Number two, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You exercise authority over your carnal nature when you fast. Number three, the bridegroom has been taken away. Jesus has been physically removed from us and we fellowship with God through his spirit. God is spirit and those who want to worship him must do so in spirit and in truth. Number four, Jesus states plainly that some kinds of demonic oppression and bondage come out by prayer and fasting. We don't have authority over things we don't believe God wants to or can set us free from. Fasting is a direct assault on the unbelievable that hinders breakthrough. Number five, blessed are those who mourn is not a moment, it's a spiritual principle that will always be true for us for as long as we live in these earthly tents. Fasting is acknowledging your dependence on God and that you're destitute and poor without an authentic connection to Him. Number six, your Father sees in secret and rewards you openly. It's an expression of faith in the pattern that Jesus modeled for us that results in open displays of the goodness of God as His Spirit and fire falls on your living sacrifice.